There's not a single study about women losing respect for a man that cries. I'm sure a lot of you who follow me or have for a while on my various accounts have seen this video come up because more than likely you follow valued men. She's great. She's a terrific person. And I don't want in any way, shape, or form this to come across as negative to her. And while I welcome comments on this video, I will not allow any attacks on her or negativity specifically directed at her, at her on a personal level. And I'm going to speak to her as if I was speaking to her face to face. But the reality is, I think this is something that a lot of people need to hear, not just her. My goal with this is not in any way, shape, or form to call her out or to point out anything negative. My goal is to educate. All of these people stand up for men, and yet they're telling men not to cry because a woman will lose respect for them. So the premise of her video was to say that it's okay for men to cry. And I also want to say before I get into things that I truly believe she was trying to come from the heart, trying to be positive and send a message to men that it's okay to cry. So let's jump into it, shall we? I saw these people say this horrible thing that I know is completely untrue. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go Google it. Let me start speaking to you. And again, I'm not speaking to you in any way, shape or form to attack you. To say something like it's not true is not true. To tell a guy who's experienced this, and I have from literally every relationship I've ever been in, that it's not true, that does not send a good message. You're basically telling us that our feelings, our thoughts, our beliefs are not true. And I know you did not mean to do that. And again, I've experienced this personally. So when you say to me it's not true and it doesn't happen, and I know for a fact it does, honestly, it hurts. Because how am I supposed to take it? You're literally telling me that my feelings aren't valid. So went to like every kind of like, you know, study that there are. There is not a single study about men crying. All right, let's get into the gist of this and your argument that basically it doesn't exist because there's no studies. And I'm going to use a different scenario to illustrate the point, but I think it'll serve the purpose. I attempted to get a domestic violence shelter open for men back in the early 2000s. And one of the most common arguments that was used to stop us from opening the facility and getting funding for it was, there were no male victims of domestic violence. That claim was made over and over by feminists, now, and many other women's groups. And in fact, also made by the domestic violence industry. Again, this is 20, 25 years ago. Things have changed. But at that time, there weren't many studies. In fact, there were very few that showed that there were male victims of domestic violence. And the ones that did, did everything to minimize it. Because what you may not realize is, studies really don't mean much. Especially ones that are not scientific. And by that I mean dealing with specific science. What you're talking about is studies done on social, not science. And what you may also not know is that almost every single study is funded by someone. And they start with a conclusion that they're trying to prove. So whenever someone tried to present that a male victim of domestic violence existed and do a study about it, they couldn't get funding for it. Which is a large reason why there were no studies. And I'm personally aware of at least two studies that did get moved forward until they found out how bad it was. How many men were in fact victims of domestic violence. And when they found that out, those studies got shut down. They were never published. And I personally spoke to one of the leaders of those studies and how they got shut down, and it was not pretty. And as we see now, almost half the domestic violence, if not more because it's underreported, is female against male. But 25, 30 years ago, there were no studies showing any of that. So to make an argument that because there's no study, it's not true, isn't a fair thing to do. There is not a single study about men crying. Now, getting back to your argument that there are no studies showing that if men cry, women don't respect them anymore, that doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. That means there needs to be studies, which means there need to be funding to fund those studies. You can even go read it on Reddit. And specifically state that you were on Reddit. Reddit is not a viable source any more than, say, Wikipedia is. But it didn't make them lose respect for him. It actually made them gain respect for him. And you make another common mistake that happens, which is you ask women what's going on instead of asking men. And the reason that happens is because 
Women don't value the opinions of men. And I'm not trying to be mean or disparage you in any way by saying that. This is a common mistake that's made. And I hate to break it to you, I have yet to meet a single woman who's admitted she lost respect for a man, including the ones who lost respect for me. I'm going to leave it at that. And I hope you understand that I'm trying to come from a positive space here and just simply educate. I'm not attacking you. That is not my intention. And I would love to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with you in the very near future where we can talk about this some more and educate each other. And more importantly, educate everyone else.